TNT Tropang Gega versus Baragai Ginebra San Miguel J. Kings. Game 6 Finals. Who will win this intense, amazing game? Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. It'll be the visiting team facing the home team. Now the starting group for the visitors. Brownlee covered by Hollis Jefferson. And the basket is good. He got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Gators. Aguilar. One shot. Here's Alice Jefferson. Six. That one doesn't go. Good D by Thompson. Brownlee. It's good. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Pass to Williams. Times pulls it in. Thompson left side. He's guarded by Williams. Rebound by Williams. And so just over a minute and a half played. The second Number chance points 16. on the tip in. You know, his positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Nice there, getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. He's covered by Thompson. Floats it up for Williams. From deep. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. And even with good coverage defensively that time, uh, he has confidence to drill the three. Here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Brownlee. Get it again. I love the determination he showed there. Getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. Here's Baller. There's the triple. Hits the three-point bomb. He has five. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Dimes with a strong contribution so far in this one. Boy, he's been relentless. And to this one, we're going to for four the Gators dancers. And 
the best to ball. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. Tight defense on him. Shot clock at five. Great open look there. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Brownlee covered by Hollis Jefferson, and the shot goes in. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Ball. Drops it in from 14 feet away. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Here's Dines. Nine points in the game so far. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Dines gone a perfect five for five from the field. Powers Jefferson finds Williams. the ball shoots it up Thompson with the rebound Nine. and it's denied they retain possession sinks the 15 footer listen you give a good shooter that kind of look and it's going to go in he's covered by Thompson Passes it to Hollis Jefferson. Here's Baller. The 19-foot shot. That one drops for him. Baller's got his second bucket of the night. The backcourt today as good as it gets. And, and they've earned the green light every time they touch the ball. Here's Thompson. And the ball goes out of bounds. Turned over. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And the home team has possession. It's a five-point game. Here's Aguilar, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Defensive foul. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. At the line for one, Aguilar! Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And, and no doubt, no points in the shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. to Hollis Jefferson. Now the pass to Castro. Five on the clock. We have a step back. Thompson with the rebound. Pass to Holt. Throws it up high. Yeah, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Well, you set the tempo early, and when you get command and control of a game, it's perfect. To the wing right side. Switch, 
shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. First, foul. First team foul. At the line for the Gators. Number seven. one at the line is good. And so he hits both. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Here's Dimes. He's got 16. It's blocked. with the rebound. Johnson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Here's Castro. Sweet little floater. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. This is it to Holt. Brownlee sinks the three-pointer. He's got seven. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. First personal foul, second team foul. One fifty-one left quarter of the game. For the three, Thomas Jefferson can't hit. Got his hand out enough on that one to bother the three-point attempt. Great hustle on that one. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters Number along seven. the perimeter. Nicely yes. done. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. And he lobs it up toward the rim, hammers the alley-oop through. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I know it's early, but you have got to like the dominance down low. Right now, they are playing bully basketball. Here's Dimes. He's got 18. Baseline J on the way. No good. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Back to Hollis Jefferson. In the shot clock. Here's Castro. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul, third team foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. line for the Gators. Castro taking two shots. First free throw is good. Oh. 
both good from the line that time. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. And the officials will call the illegal well, shooting right there. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Castro. Dimes pulls it in. Dimes got his fifth rebound right now in the game. officials are getting together they may want to review this one and it looks like they are going to review the play the question did he get the basket off in time yeah and at this point in the game you know some might say hey can, can't we just skip the replay this time around but you just never know Switch the call. There is no doubt. Look at the replay that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take That's another look at it. I know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the flow, but when you have it there, you gotta use it. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Twenty. Up eleven. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. I love the determination. They want to go after every rebound out there and overwhelming to the opposition right now. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. To the paint. And he saw the play develop, but the pass just wasn't there. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. Launches it. No good for the fifth time from the floor this game. He's made two shots. Down low, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Boy, he's been unconscious this quarter. I love the confidence he's playing with. Castro passes Dallas Jefferson. Hits the outside fadeaway. He has six. The pass to Aguilar. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. That means this eagle. Hollis Jefferson passes to Castro. Back to Hollis Jefferson. The one thing. Wow, that's the Lord. Inside, Holt. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. It really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. He gets it in Number there. 16. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Pass to Aguilar. He lobs it up in a big time jam right there. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Hollis Jefferson with it. 
Hasn't made one yet. Jefferson. Assisted by number 16. Got a piece of it. Right it Gators ball. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Takes a three. Traps in the tray. Hollis, Hollis Jefferson's got five points now this quarter. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. He passes it to Little Jenner. And there's the pass to Holt. Just five to shoot. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And guys, getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Here's Hollis Jefferson. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Hollis Jefferson's gone two for six from the floor so far. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. He got for us, D.A. Thank you, Kevin. Now, one of the toughest things NBA referees are asked to judge are carrying violations, where the ball comes to rest at mid-dribble. Now, Warriors coach Steve Kerr says they've been doing it ever since Allen Iverson convinced the referees that it wasn't a carry. It is a carry, but the whole league's been doing it. Kevin? Yeah, you're right. We've seen it. David, thanks. It's good from long range. Hollis Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson's got his third basket of the night. Hollis Jefferson's gone two of four from distance tonight. Pass to Holt. Five. Picked off in midair. And it's blocked. And that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. So it's the visitors now, trailing by 13. Pass to Bola. To the left side wing. Hollis Jefferson, good. Hollis Jefferson's got 11 points. Hollis Jefferson's gone four for nine from the field. Here's Aguilar. Can't connect from 14 feet out. They can shave the deficit to single digits right here. Hollis Jefferson in the post. Flanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. Oh, at the last possible moment, he changes out of the shot and finds the open man. Perfect decision. A nice shot by Little Jenner. Man, I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. And he has shown a terrific feel for how the defense is playing him and then taking advantage of that. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeters to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. Passes to Holt. And it's blocked. That one ends up out of bounds. They retain possession. up off the inbound and it's good on the way 11 points in the game out 
to the right wing. Here's Baller. Nailed Ready. from three-point land. Six. Three points. Baller's gotten three of his four shots to fall. Hitting 75%. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. So it's the visitors now. Six-point game. Ray. And that Number one six. drops. Ballers got five points in the quarter. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit. But can they get over the hump? Yeah, it feels like they've ramped up their intensity. They have forced good things to happen. Now they're back in it. General. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. There's the pass to Ball. And here's Hollis Jefferson. Down low. Bank shot. No good. And his defense so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Really, uh, the right Second play defensively, if you can block, force him to the line. At the line for your Gators, Thompson. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Thompson. So Thompson nails both of them. Get the shot. Misses the jumper. Has to hold. Here's Little General. To the paint. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort, love the energy. He's covered by Thompson. The rebound by Little General. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. Well, he sees the play developing, takes care of his responsibility. Just terrific job defensively. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. He's got 17. Here's Holt. A shot, no good. Puts it up from 12, and the jumper is on the mark. Eight points for him. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Gators. Holt. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Hey, 
good on both. Here's Baller. He's got nine. Out to the right wing. Corner shot. It's good. Roger. Number 16. The assist. Lamar Weber. 156 left in the first half. Little general the pass to Holt. Floats one. That one misses. He logs up the alley pass. And it's Thomas Jefferson with the jam. Assist from and hard to decide which is better the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Yeah, you, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. And, and you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Here's Little General. That's tipped. Here's Thompson, and some very quick points for him on that possession. Assistant Thompson's got six. Yeah, and I like the creativity there by Marley. You gotta like seeing him zip passes across the court. Pass to Bowler. From the top of the key, they get the rebound. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. The tenacity on that interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Pass to Holt. Here's Little General, and he's good on the three ball. Little General's got six points in the quarter. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. And here's Hollis Jefferson. He's got 19 beyond the arc. That shot missing. And so that's the end of the first half. They're up by nine. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. 54. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Taking a look at this home squad. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. They're going to work in the paint. Doing a great job. A good portion of their offense was generated inside. Really outperformed their opponent in that aspect. I expect the defense to pack it in a little more in the second half and try to force them down the stairs. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Right now, this game is being won and lost on the glass. When another team is out muscling you, sometimes you have to run more guys in back. Quantity can match quality if you can also be aggressive going after the battle. And that should do it. With the second half about to begin, let's send you back to Kevin Harlan. Go back. Kevin Harlan. Go. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Dimes has been sensational. And he's been a monster in this game, throwing down some huge dunks. And I wasn't sure the rim would even survive in that first half. Oh, his power is unbelievable. He's an intimidating force when he's at his best. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Pass to Williams. Inside. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Yes. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. 
Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Pass the ball. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Number six at the line for one. One shot. so far in the third quarter. Brownlee, a three-pointer, no good. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing, the ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. Here's Dimes. He's got 22. On the wing, Thompson. Shoot. Fires from 18. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the ball. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Man, this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. So it's the visitors now. Trailing by 10. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Baller pass to Hollis Jefferson. And it's Hollis Jefferson with the jam. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot. But right now, this guy is cooking. Pass to Thompson. Here's Dimes. He's guarded by Williams. Passes to Holt. Bye. Here's Aguilar. It's good. Aguilar. Dimes got four points now in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Dines with a strong contribution so far in this one. Absolutely on fire. That they need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. Third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. There's Alice Jefferson. Second chance shot. Not that one. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, in recent years, the league has flattened the lottery odds and created the play in tournament to keep more teams motivated. Commissioner Adam Silver knows some teams are in a development phase, but doesn't want to see maneuvering for better draft picks. He says teams are smarter, they're creative, and they respond. We move, they move. Kevin? Just like that. DA, thank you. Here we go, one on one. And that goes out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Mavericks checked in for Thompson. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. 
Number just four. doing Second what he can. He, he's competing and he's converting. And he has the really game. kept them in this Number one. Six. The high effort At level. The now one. the rest of the team has got to step up. One shot. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. The pass to Aguilar. Roundly. Williams with the block. And they get it back. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Goes back up. And yes, it's good. Number four. Assisted by. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Here's Baller. 16 points for him. Connects from three-point range. Eight points for him. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Jack McLeod. Knocks it loose. Lays it up off the glass. Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. In the corner, Hollis Jefferson bangs home the trifecta. Hollis Jefferson's got 27. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Here's Maverick. Still yet to score. And no good to start the night, missing his first attempt there. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. To the tie. Hands it from downtown. Hollis Jefferson. Hollis Jefferson's Three. got 11 in the second half. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. Here's Baller. 16 points for him. Here's the break. It's blocked. And so out of bounds it goes. And they'll keep possession. Timeout for the Gators. The visitors on defense. A two point game. Gators foul. Number six. Third personal foul, first team foul. At the line for two, number four. And he makes the first. Get 
against them both. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Now here's Williams. Here's Baller. He's got 16. This is it to Castro. Five on the clock. Good on the three-point shot. 11 points in the game. And now this game's taken on a whole new field since halftime. What energy we're seeing. Something has lit a fire under both of these teams. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And that's the kind of move that will always pay off, even against tight defense like he was facing on that possession. Here's Castro. The layup off target. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Here's Aguilar, banked in off the glass. Dimes got 10 points here in the second half. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Dimes pulls it in. Dimes got 15 rebounds here tonight. Down low, Holt. Rebound by Williams. The pass to Hollis Jefferson for the tie. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got his fourth assist in this one. Boy, you could see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. What I love is the heart, the fire, the tenacity. This is absolutely fantastic. Both teams deciding to change it up. One shot. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And so here's the home team. Here's P. Dan Marlin. First personal foul, third team foul. That's another one for him, his fifth in just seven shots. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Time out for the Trying teams. to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Here's P. Out to the wing. There's the drive. Inside. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. There's 154 left in the third quarter. Ball. The rebound by D. It's a close game here in Chicago. Here's Maverick. Still scoreless. Gators foul. Number seven. First personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution for the Gators. Lamar Weber. The visitors on defense. Here's P. Pocket six. He had a nice open look right there. D's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Pass 
passed the ball. There's Castro. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. One oh two left in the third quarter. Pass to D. He shoots again, and he lays it up and in. D's got five points in the quarter. Well, easy money, right? I like the strategy. Go inside, get a high percentage look. They need this. Baller, that's good. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. Here's P. Passes it to Maverick. Here's D. Knocks down the three ball. D's got eight points. You know, a guy with that size from the downtown three-point area, no chance for a defender to alter that shot. Bye. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. P, no good. B drains it from beyond the arc. Nine points in the game so far. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Takes the three. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither team giving ground. The Gators leading by a point. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. I'll tell you, in today's game, you want skill and decision making at every position. Come on, fans, it's the fourth And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. A floater. Rebounded by Baller. And here's the fast break. That one goes in. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Here's Maverick. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul, first team foul. At the line for your Gators. Double zero. Two shots. First one falls for him. Both shots good from the strike. And give them credit for the work they've done at the line. Nothing new. They're always impressive in terms of free throw shooting, but still worth mentioning. Fires for three. Offensive rebound. Williams gets the bucket. Williams has got his first bucket of the night. Well, as we move into the fourth, it's been an even game. Guys, teams have exchanged the lead five times thus far. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second personal foul, second team foul. At the line for your Peters, number four. Two shots. 
First free throw is good. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Here's Baller. Outside Williams. And there's the pass to Baller. Clock at four. A fadeaway. And too long on the shot. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to sink. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Fires the three. Rebounded by Bowler. Wow, four came five. this close to a four-point play. Yeah, they're they're the line for three three throws. Three. Good job trying to get a hand in the face, but you've got to be more careful. Number seven, three shots. Three shots. Three shots. He's good on the first of three. Thompson, he's checked in for deep. And the second free throw, good. He makes all three. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Boy, that's the last thing they needed. This game too close to be making those kinds of errors. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Now Williams. Puts it up. And misses it off the right side of the rim. It's a floater. Up again. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. 34 points for Dimes. How about the anticipation and the timing there? He is all over it. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Bowler. And Maverick pulls it down. Here's Aguilar. Boom! He jams it straight down. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Here's Baller. The move. Second shot opportunity. It's tipped. And they get it back. Here's Maverick. Brownlee sinks the triple. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Shot to stop the run. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. 
basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. Back to Williams. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contest. Wow. He got whacked. Oh, that one shouldn't be much debate there. Shooting for Florida. Williams taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Williams. And he makes both free throws. Smart anchor, it passes Greg, are really paying off for them at the moment. And also good off ball movement. Everyone is paying attention and looking to create the best shot Number for the team. Really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus, even as the game's gotten tight. You know, a few more possessions like that one, and they can put the finishing touches on this game. They just have to have effective trips like that one. Thompson outside. Here's Maverick. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Hollis Jefferson's checked in for Williams. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. Pass the ball. Looking to end his cold spell. And right on target. Good. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Number four. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Here's Baller. Got a piece of it. Here's Maverick. Pass to Dine. Fader on the way. Doesn't go that time. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Dimes. Brownlee. Hollis Jefferson with the rebound. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table. The ability to anchor your defense. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. In the shot clock. He's covered by Thompson. Got it. Number seven on the night. Seven for 11 from the floor. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Take a look at the new balance. Player of the game. Dives. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor and with an update from the sideline let's check in with david aldridge thanks kevin well the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break now he wants his team to stop playing it safe 
He said, we've got this lead by doing what we do, and we can keep it if we don't get too cautious. Play our game. Kevin. Thanks, David. Williams with the block. Passes it to Hollis Jefferson. Floats it up for Williams, and it's Williams throwing it down. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical oh, center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Thompson outside. Here's the floater. Good on the shot. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. He's covered by Thompson. Shot from the wing. The shot will not fall. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. And this is the key. In this game, you've got to be able to move your feet to be successful on the defensive end. Now here's Hollis Jefferson. That three off the mark. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. He's guarded by Williams. The pass to Thompson. And an air ball on that one. Way off. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. A three. Headshot off. Brownlee gets the three quarter to fall. He's got 20. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that. Hollis Jefferson passes the ball. No good again that time. Well, he tries to answer with a three of his own and can't do it. You can't get caught up in the one-on-one -on -one aspect. There's the lob to the hoop. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Ball stolen. A solo fast break. Roundly. Dishes it to Thompson. And he makes that one. Then you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Drills it from outside. Hollis Jefferson's got 37. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. Here's Aguilar. This. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Not loose. Taken away by Williams. The tray knocks down eight. the three. Over the taller defender. This is why you have to stay connected to shooters on the perimeter. Today's player is not intimidated by size. You even give them a sliver of a window, and they're going to make that shot. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific two.